Freunde, freut euch auf ein neues Video. Die Jungs von High Enduro End haben mal so richtig aus der Trickkiste gegraben. Ne? Und jetzt gibt es ein schönes Interview mit äh, dem weltbesten Enduro-Fahrer, wie ich finde. Äh, der Vanja hat so ein paar Fragen, Fragen vorbereitet. Und äh, ja, seid mal gespannt. Ne? Da wird richtig lustig. Also, was geht das? So, as a first question, uh, when do you get a professional rider? Well, I did trials, uh, world championship for like uh, a good 10 years. I started when I was 10 years old. So I had a big, a lot of experience and I've turned professional like from when I was 17. So I've never had a proper job as such. <laughs> but that background of trials <clears throat> was perfect for hard enduros and uh, sort of made the switch quite easily when I was 30 years old. So quite a late starter in enduro, but you know, I just love the sport. It's such varied sport. And uh, you know, if you love what you do and work hard, you can make it. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, if we take a look at the enduro sport, you are kind of more the older rider. So what is your secret to keep up the fitness against all the younger competitors? Well, you know, there's no secrets uh, to success, really. It's just a lot of hard work. But, you know, as I get older, I have to sort of plan my training a little bit and maybe rest up a little bit more, especially on the, like, the multi-day events become a little bit harder. But, you know, if uh, I try and use my technique, maybe my technique can save me a little bit of energy. But you know, it is getting more and more difficult, but uh, I think for all the guys, it don't matter whether you're young or old, it's just a tough sport and at the end of the day, you're going to be, you know, you've nothing left. So if you look back on your career, is there anything you would change? Well, you know, I can't, looking back is always, you know, you can learn, when, especially when I was younger, I probably could have learned stuff a little bit quicker, but as you get older, you know, you realise that, but, you know, using that experience uh, to, well into my 40s now so I'm using all that experience and you know your mistakes that you make it's just a way of learning you can't succeed without failure so that's just part of it. Just last week you won the Sea to Sky Red Bull event so what are your feelings while winning a big event like this? Well the races are so physically demanding you know you're quite happy just to get, get to the finish it's a good feeling just to finish the race but uh, to get a win yeah it's a pretty incredible experience especially if you it's a close race like the last one at sea to sky when you're really close towards the end you're fighting right towards the end and I had to come from the back of the pack you know it just makes it even more special. <laughs> What are the feelings if like some years ago Johnny Walker passes you on the last second Yeah. before the finish. Well, you know, you can't win all the time, so sometimes you're going to lose the race as well, maybe near the finish, so it's disappointing, but, you know, you just accept it and look forward to the next race. Okay, so about your career, what was your highlight of the career or what was the opposite? Well, you know, it's got to be the Erzberg, <clears throat> you know, hard enduro because uh, it's the biggest race of the year and you know, it took me years and years to actually win it. So when I won it, it was the highest point, but You know, the years before when I got excluded and one time I thought I'd won and then I hadn't won and so that was probably the, the worst point of my career as well. Yeah, I remember that look on your face when you got caught out again, third time. <laughs> <laughs> so with your age now, how long do you think you can compete with the upcoming younger riders? Well, I'm 42 years old now and the, you know, the younger guys are, are progressing all the time, so, you know, but As long as I keep enjoying riding and uh, got a chance of winning, I'll still be competing. But hopefully when I'm not competing, I'll carry on riding, teaching riders and having fun on my bike. So as you just said, what is your plan if you will stop racing? And so what do you want to work after that? Well, if I stop competing, I think I'd just like to go on some adventures, you know, ride new places, you know, meet new guys, teach them go on, you know, just travel the world riding in cool places. Okay, sounds like you have the name and the chance to start an off-road school by your own. Yeah, I can do, I might uh, start, a, you know, a specific place where people can come and learn Jarvis boot camp as such, but, uh, you know, I don't mind traveling the world and 
come into groups of riders, different places, and teach them on whatever terrain they've got. <laughs> so, what would you recommend the beginners in the enduro sport in kind of the bike and training? Well, if you're a beginner, just get a bike that's easy to ride. Uh, I've said it before, trials is a good way to start, but uh, you know, just get the, the basics first and it's something easy to ride. Just get control of the clutch and brakes and make sure you're riding safe and just progress at a slow pace. It's better to progress slowly and consistently rather than go straight in and uh, you know, crashing and hurting yourself. So what kind of bike would you recommend a beginner? Well, if it's not a trials bike, I'd go for a, a smaller engine, a 125, two stroke perhaps. Real easy to ride, and uh, you know it's a lighter bike, and you know just to be a little bit safer. It's better to build the confidence before you go on to a more powerful bike if you need to. So, as you know, we from High Enduro, and we have our own off-road school where we like to teach uh, the guys the enduro sport. So, what is your opinion on our school or the enduro school in overall? Well, it's perfect for you guys, like the high enduro end. You've got a place to ride where people can come, whatever level they are, beginner or pro riders. And you've got experienced trainers and, uh, you know, whatever level that you can help them. And, and uh, it's just a fantastic place to be, I think. So to come to an end, we really like to thank you, uh, not only for being here, but helping us out to do this great, great event here and to do the interview. I'm hoping everybody will like this and auch in Deutsch. Wir bedanken uns fürs Zuschauen. War für uns eine Riesenaktion, dass wir den Jarvis hier einladen konnten. Metzeler Offroad Park bietet hier wirklich viel Möglichkeit, da auch richtig mit ihm trainieren zu können, dass nicht nur unsere Lehrgangsteilnehmer, sondern auch wir noch wirklich viel von dem Master himself quasi was lernen können. Und Wer auch mal einen Enduro-Lehrgang machen möchte, um wirklich besser im Enduro-Sport zu werden oder sogar nächstes Jahr auch mal bei einem Graham Jarvis Training dabei sein möchte, der schaut doch einfach mal auf unserer Website vorbei, highendurorend.de und dort stehen auch die ganzen Informationen über die Lehrgänge, damit ihr wisst wirklich, was euch erwartet und wir bedanken uns hiermit ganz herzlich und hoffen, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss.